Hi, this is Alisa from Local King Roberts and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to create the, this beautiful sky. So have you got a chance to take the Local King's 2004 new release background yet? If you haven't got a chance to check it out, make sure you click the link below. So this is going to be the third project. I have done two videos already. This is a um, uh, few of my previous video. This is the moon. Uh, make sure you check out the video number 2A2. And the other one, this uh, is a tree to the sky, is video number 2A3. Okay, so today's video, I am going to share with you how to create this beautiful sky. And uh, this is the background called sky. And then this is the most uh, easiest way to create this beautiful sky. I'm going to share with you, you probably under two minutes, you can view, uh, create this beautiful sky. And then this is the channel is all about the um, sharing great stinting tips with you. Hope you like it. Okay, so that's started. Okay, so material list is going to be so simple. We are going to just uh, need to have a three dye base impact. Um, you can just use a blue tone, light, medium, dark. Any kind of dye base impact will work just fine. Um, I'm because today's video, I'm actually going to working on the glossy car stock, and I know a lot of you guys have a lot of questions about uh, what kind of paper is good for what. So make sure you watch the paper uh, uh, review. I did create a video to show you ten different kind of. Uh, car stock on the market that you can use for stamping so i will put a link below just to make sure if you have any question what kind of glossy paper you want to use and where you can find the glossy paper just make sure you watch that video and you can find all the um the answers so uh if you want to use a uh pigment impact you can do that too but remember pink uh, pigment impact is good on the regular car stock it, you cannot use a pigment impact on the glossy paper because it takes forever to dry Okay, so, and then I think what, what other stem go well with the sky that will be or majestic, the eagle stem from the spring release. So make sure you check it out. And uh, I am actually offer free shipping for all the 2021 so four new release. So that's more than 20% off. Make sure you check it out. And uh, if you order all eight background stem, I will include the one of the magic ones you uh, mag uh, magic mushroom, not washroom, I always say washroom, magic wash uh, mushroom with your order and remember the one magic mushroom for you to try out, not the whole set. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it. So the, the, and then on my next video, well, I'm going to explain that one later. So I have a surprise in the end of this uh, video. Stay tuned. What's going to be the surprise for in the end of this video? You are going to be amazed the result. So that's a start today. Okay, it's a good idea to have a stem positioner uh, because uh, this way, in case you didn't ink your stem well, this is always the perfect way to uh, do the adjustment. If you don't have a stem positioner, make sure you watch video number 45. In the video number 45, I will share with you how to use a CD case or DVD case to create a stamp positioner. So it just costs you uh, the money for a, a CD case or DVD case. It's very easy to create and uh, it work well too. But I do recommend to get one stamp posi uh, positioner. It's uh, very useful. So we are going to use the least uh, sky background stamp. And this stamp is kind of half between the detail stamp and half between the a shadow stamp, but it um so it work well on the glossy paper because they are kind of half and half. If you have only the shadow stamp, I will recommend you to um use on the uh glossy paper because it's hard to get the perfect image. For the new stamp, is if this is the first time you are using this stamp, make sure the rubber stamp. Make sure you use eraser to erase the surface. So this will step it will help your stamp ink much better than uh without that. Okay, so I have a three color here and those are the memento, light, medium, dark. That's all you need. Um, it really depends on what color you want in your sky. If you want to have a more blue, you probably start with uh, like a darker blue and uh, add the, um, the darkest blue. And then, but the, I want to kind of have a light sky. So I just use this, uh, the, oh, sorry, you cannot see. Okay. If you want to have a light 
um, sky, you can start with a, like a summer sky as your lightest color. If you want to have a, a little bit like a darker sky, you can just uh, uh, start with a little bit darker blue to start. Okay, so I'm going to use the lightest color and uh, you know what, this video is going to be most uh, easiest video and about the result, I'm really pl um, pleased with the result because uh, it looks just amazing. There's a lot of uh, sky rubber stain on the um on the market, but the 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 steam image is just uh, too cartooning. But the local king's uh, rubber stain is just really realistic. If you like this video, because all the local king's uh, YouTube video is um um in 2020. 20, 20, 20, and 2021. There is a sorry, 2021 days is a commercial free. So if you do like this video, make sure you give us a thumb up and let me know, leave me a comment. Okay, so we're gonna start with this summer sky, and this summer sky is dye based impact. That means it work well on the uh, glossy paper, they will dry fast. And then I have uh, this Cronco background, uh, Cronco paper. This is an old Cronco, so they work well with the uh, with the dye base impact and then please do watch this paper review you can get all the information and I have no idea where you can find the old Cronco paper so you have to give it a try but the watch that paper re review you can find some glossy paper they are available on the market okay for the summer sky and this stem is already used uh, uh, the eraser to erase the surface so we're gonna start with a lighter color and don't blink this video I mean this um, this project like uh, the sky is only like a take 10 seconds so I always rubbing my background stem instead um I rubbing it first and then I tend to tapping it so the tapping is just uh, helping this uh, um, to blending those rubbing mark and that's the best way to ink your your big background stem and then I have this uh, magic mushroom and uh, I was using this uh, magic mushroom for the last few projects so it's kind of um, I have a, a, a little bit blue on top but don't you worry so we don't even have to clean it so I kind of just uh, rub the background stem I did that because I actually put my paper on top so I pick up some color and then we are going to use the uh, um, use the magic mushroom and we're going to pick a, a little bit blue always uh, rubbing your background stem instead uh, rubbing your impact instead of the, uh, tapping so just gently rubbing that's the best way to pick up your your ink with your magic mushroom and i have been mentioning in my previous video if you have a set of this magic mushroom uh, make sure you watch the um, Ma magic mushroom 101 i um, share a lot of uh, great information how to use those magic mushroom the technique i'm showing you um um it it doesn't really work well with the brushes blending tool because we want to just gently applying the ink on your rubber stamp if you use the brush tip it's just to remove your ink from your uh, your stamp and also they don't like a blending well so I'm going to sh show you what do I mean so I pick up a little bit blue color and then you can just look at your um, um, stamp image if you want to but it doesn't really matter I kind of just uh, use uh, this uh, uh, don't tap wrapping kind of use uh, this uh, uh, magic mushroom just kind of tapping some area just give it a bit shading any way you like but I kind of leave this part the light color okay so I already um, I just kind of tapping a little bit color right and then you can um, use your your scrap paper kind of rub of a little bit color and then between these uh, darker blue and the lighter blue we kind of go back gently tapping to kind of make a two color that light blue and medium blue blending together okay and then if you want to add a little bit more just a brush a little bit you don't need a lot so i just uh, do a little bit more and then same thing don't even worry to clean your magic mushroom we are going to add a darker blue so same thing brushing a little bit darker color okay and you can see a little bit darker color okay let's do a little bit more oh, did i put the wrong bahama blue oh, actually i put the cap the, the 
actually I put the my cap the wrong color it doesn't matter so you start with the lighter color and you add a darker color so I start with the the light color and it's supposed to be this color and then the darker blue but I put the lead wrong but it's okay you get what I'm trying to say so just gently tap tap and then you can see okay on my stamp okay this uh, lighter color and this dark darker color it kind of jumps a little bit too fast right so what i'm gonna do is i just use my scrap paper rub off a little bit color and then between these two color i kind of gently tap tap okay so that's how i get the perfectly blending between the three color and that's see what look like so usually this step is just like a 10 second but i want to just explain all the details so take a little bit longer because uh, this is education um channel right i really want to share with you all the processing okay so we are going to do that and it's a good idea that you have a least uh, um, tool to helping you ink your um, stamp so it's a big stamp so that way there's a lot of good chunky um, on the mark uh, the two videos so just uh, do a little bit research you can find uh, um, you can actually make one yourself okay look at that look at this beautiful background okay so that's uh, beautiful sky right this is done a little bit of white dots like i say this is glossy paper and my stamp was not really clean so that's a clean the surface and we're going to do one more time you know um stamping on the glossy paper is like uh, you are painting your car um they painting the car in the spray boots is dust free. So you got to make sure you are on your glossy paper. There is no um, dust on your stamp. Is uh, should be should be like a clean, okay? And then you probably ask me, um, so if I don't have glossy paper, what I'm gonna do? Yes, you can stamping on the regular cardstock too. Um, I am going to show you what's it look like on the regular car stock. So let's just watch it one more time and then I'm going to start with my summer sky first. If you want like a darker blue, you can use uh, I mean darker uh, more bluish sky. you just start with the darker blue. So I start with uh, this summer sky and the uh, Bahama, Bahama blue I was using the wrong color so light medium dark first and then pick up some blue and then just find some spot to tap in it I love those sponge uh, um, blending tool because you can really control um, give you more control to make sure you want a darker color you want a lighter color you push harder it's become darker you release a little bit pressure it's become lighter so just uh, gently tap that. That's what you cannot do with the brush tip blending tool because uh, the hair finish, I mean the hair tip, it doesn't give you this option. Okay, so that's my second color. And then let's do a little bit more blue, blue sky. So now I'm going to do a little bit more darker blue. Just to pick up the ink and then gently do that okay if you want to you can even add the force blue okay so rubber stamp is the i i just uh, love rubber stamp better than the clear stamp because uh, they dry slow on the stamp it give you enough time to um ink your stamp to do the detailing and the, to to stamp it so i don't mean my like clear stamp is a not good stamp it's just a um i prefer rubber stamp so i um just remove a little bit extra ink because i found the least part my light color and dark color is kind of jungle a little bit too fast so i kind of use my magic mushroom to blending a little bit okay so that's do that so i'm going to stamp going to do that and then use my tool to kind of rubbing if you um like the the first one i did because of my glossy papers a little bit dusting there so um you can just stamp one more time on the top 
So that's the um, the reason it's a good idea to have a stand positioner. And this way is just to make it uh, easier. Here you go. Hey, see? The same stamp, different color, it looks totally different. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so, and then I'm going to just uh, clean my stamp. Okay, like this. On the regular cardstock, you probably have to stamp two times to, um, to be able to get the, uh, you know what? How about we just try on the glossy cardstock, see? What uh, look like? So I just have uh, this piece uh, cheap uh, um, white car stock, and then you know what I'm gonna do is just take this. Okay, so I already clean my stamp, and oops, that's it. What look like on the regular car stock? Okay, so I'm gonna just stamp this way, so that way I can save my other half car stock. Okay, so that's a start with the. Uh, Sky blue first. Oh, uh, I just want to see, show you what it look like if it's only one color, and then we can just uh, add a color later. Okay, so this is uh, on the regular car stock. It's not really attractive, isn't it? And then remember, this is just cheap uh, regular car stock. So I'm going to do just the uh, rock, rock, tap, tap, tap. And then this time, let's uh, add a little bit more blue. So just uh, pick up some blue. Okay. Here and there. And a gentle blending the two colors. And then I'm going to do a little bit darker blue. So if you don't have the magic marshmallow, you can try to use uh, some sponges. It's uh, going to be a little bit challenging, but it's doable because the spongy, they come those kind of wedges. It's hard to blending, um, blending them, but use what you have, give it a try, right? So this is going to be the second layer. That's what it looks like. Look, that's already uh, much better. And then that's do the third layer. It's going to be, looks awesome too. It's just, uh, just the, the, the type of the, paper it doesn't make a difference right so let's do again okay so i'm going to just uh, you just need a, a little bit time to build it out your um your sky so gently tap tap and darker blue again and then try to hiding your your co the second color the first color the second color in the third color just to try to because the the sky the cloud it just looks like so soft and they are blending so well well you don't see like a big jump uh the color right okay so this is the third layer let's see what it looks like Ta -da! Ooh, a little bit dust here but that's okay okay so that's on the regular car star it looks uh bad right okay so see this one that was what i'm talking about is because of this blue and this lighter blue here i can use my matching mushroom to blending a little bit smoother yeah so in my stamp is a little bit dirty so that's why those are little spot but if you use a regular car stock it doesn't really matter so we can actually give it one more coat to make it the color even more covered so let's do that and then i think my summer sky impact it kind of need a refill it kind of dry okay let's do that so this is the fourth layer there you go so remember this is just cheap cheap like a very cheap uh, car start uh, the the material the construct is not really smooth so but that's uh that, that it works just fine right 
Okay, so the next, next uh, in my previous uh, video, I've been mentioning too many times, even though this is just an A2 size uh, background stamp, but you can always uh, extend it your car like this one you can make it bigger you can make it like a five by seven or you can make it like a six by six and it, by just using the a2 stamp i think uh, that's uh, awesome okay and then i want to make a bigger car and i think this car is perfect to make uh, for your male friend okay so this is one and then i stamp two right so i'm gonna just connect with these two cars and they, they are cloud so see you can just kind of change the direction see which direction is the is the best for you is is the cloud is the, they don't they, they don't have a shape so i think that works just perfect or these or these oh i think that looks uh, kind of cool or you want to make it horizontal you can do that too you make it work and then i think that looks uh, it's just fine okay and then it doesn't matter so i'm going to just do this way and then i am going to just put them together okay and then i'm going to just use uh, a regular tape to tape the back and then trim it and then that's that's a perfect background and i just make my car bigger than this Okay, so, and I have this uh, cloud border die. I just think it, it will be nice to create some layering. And then we are going to use uh, this uh, false new design. And remember, it's 15% off online now. And for 15% uh, off for a summer sale. And the plus here is 5% extra coupon code for all my YouTube viewers. The coupon code is LKYT2021F. So that means you get 20% off for all the regular prices. And remember those 5% off is good for the 2021's full new release too. But that cannot apply. Uh, the 15% off is not uh, good for the 2021's full new release. They are for the, all the regular items. And uh, but this 5% off you can use for everything. Okay, so now I'm going to just, uh, I just stamp these eagles with the uh, memento black and I just colored it. So that's the easy part. And then you can uh, put your ego anywhere you like. And I found that actually I put the sky a little bit um, darker blue. E the ego is actually pop out more. I think this is a beautiful car for, um, um, for all the guys and the boys, they will love that. So um, you can only do the one or you can do the two. And I think it's a pretty nice finish. What do you think? Okay, I have uh, something else I'd like to share with you. Okay, have you got a chance to watch my last video, number 283, this uh, Tree to Sky uh, project video? So when I created this video, that was, I got my inspiration when we went to camping and that was a kind of uh, nighttime view. And then when I, well, while I was creating this car, I said, okay, later on, I am going to try to add the sky background with this tree to sky background to see what to look like. Actually, the result is amazing. So here is what it look like. I already pre-stamped this uh, um, tree to sky background on the glossy car star. Um, on the glossy car star, if your stamp is a detail stamp, you don't have to worry about any dusting or anything. They works just perfect. So I am going to actually um, use the stamp position. Oh, even you don't need the stamp position, it will work just fine. So make sure your stamp is clean. Okay, I think that's pretty much clean. And then you got to make sure this uh, tree is dry. So I use a stays on on the glossy car star. Stays on, I think is the best uh, impact, um, permanent impact on the glossy paper, but uh, um, it's good to use stamp like a two time. Don't try to use a very moisture impact. Um, you just uh, stamp one time and then apply your ink stamp the other time. That way you will get the best uh, coverage of the stamp image. So for the um, for the sky background and uh, this is what I'm gonna do. Um, I think a, a little darker color is good, but it doesn't really matter. We always start with a lighter color first. That's how you apply your um, background stamp um, 
Rob Rob and Tap Tap. I did a prototype, but that prototype result is amazing. You will see it in just a few seconds. So go same thing again. We're going to use magic mushroom rubbing. Okay, always rubbing. That's how you ink your your magic mushroom. And I'm going to do a little bit tapping here and gently tapping the both like a two color the border area. So that way you can blend in those clouds and uh, so they don't have like a um, the line. So the color will not jumping too uh, too fast. So just gently tap tap tap. You want you want to have a more like a darker blue sky. Just uh, use a little bit darker blue. Duh, that that's a, what it's supposed to be, right? Okay, so I am going to do the other darker blue. See, I only use these three blue, and then you I don't even bother to clean my magic marshal. And then in my last video, I was mentioning. Even though you use this darker blue, but when you want to use a dark, uh, lighter blue, you can easily wipe off with a wet cloth and then make sure your magic mushroom got to be moisture. Um, in the beginning of uh, um, when I launched those magic mushrooms, I, 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 I did uh, not suggest you to wash your magic mushroom, but um, actually now I think it's a good idea you wash your magic mushroom, mushroom, not wash your magic mushroom, uh, if you haven't used that magic mushroom for a while, you wash them, they actually um, will blend in better. And this technique, unfortunately, you will need a sponge uh, blending tool. Um, and then because of magic mushroom is not a flat tip, they kind of have a curve. So when you want to blend in, they're actually doing the perfect job. Okay, and then I do not wash my magic mushroom every time after I use it. Okay, so the ink dries low on the rubber stamp. I don't know about the, about the clear stamp, but for the rubber stamp, they really give you enough time to uh, working on your coloring. So I have at least the glossy cards that I remember you have any question regarding the glossy paper, uh, watch this video uh, below. So it will explain all the um, 10 different kind of paper on the market so okay I'm going to do this instead of stamping I'm going to just uh, put my car on top okay gently rubbing make sure you're rubbing everywhere and hold your breath this is a breathtaking moment okay ready look at that isn't it exactly like a, a photo? And then that's uh, how it looks. We I combine two stamp, the sky, uh, the sky background stamp and the tree to sky. You know, rubber stamp is all about the image. And uh, I can tell, I can tell, um, I can you know promise you that local king's uh, stamp image is just unique. This is the car I create and the, the background color is a little bit um, lighter. So they all look different. You know, the cloud never have a shape, right? So I want my car to be vertical to go with ah, fingerprint. I want my car vertical to go with my ego. So you can use a vertical, you can, um, you can go um, horizontal, anything you like. So I'm going to find something to cover that fingerprint. I always get a fingerprint. Okay, so we go to, and I actually have something else to share with you. So this channel is all about some awesome techniques, awesome stamp tips that I know and I always share with all my viewers. And oops, run out of the tape now. That's okay. So I'm going to just do that. Okay, so now, this is my prototype and uh, I, my ego was on the regular car stock. It doesn't really like a pop out. So I add a blue, um, I, I cut a piece of black car stock and then kind of put the, the behind my ego to create a sh some shadow. I think that works uh, well. And then uh, I did the other two ego because my paper is glossy paper. I kind of want my ego to be a glossy uh, finish too. So what I did is I just finished coloring and I put a packing tape on top 
so that I can create this glossy finish. So if you have, you don't have a glossy car stop, but you really want to create a um, glossy finish, what you can do, the most easiest way is uh, just uh, put the packing tape uh, on top that will create that shining finish. So that's what, uh, see, now I found out the sky a little darker. My, my, my ego is actually pop out um, better, especially with this uh, glossy um, tape. And then you can put the blue, um, put uh, cut one extra piece of cardstock to create some shadow. So I was using this blue to create a guiding window or you can do the black. So I think the blue will work just fine. Okay, so I have finished my project because I got a little bit fingerprint here and I think I just uh, stamped some ego behind. I think actually that looks pretty good. Okay, so this is the, the project that I use glossy paper with packing tape to finish, but you decide you want it or you don't want it. And then the sky, this sky is a little bit darker and this is a little bit lighter. They all look different. That's why the fun part of the stamping, you are the artist that you give your car, pro your, your car project life. And then I just want to share with you with this tree to sky background stamp and the plus this uh, sky background stamp and look uh, how amazing it is. And then this uh, sky uh, background, I think it's good for everything. If you have a, um, some airplane, if you don't have the cloud die cut, you can stamp in some tree branches here. And uh, uh, I have a stamp is called the silence. I think uh, the silence that will add perfectly, um, with this sky background too. Okay, so this video I was sharing with you how to using the packing tape to uh, to make your finished car like uh, glossy, right? So, and they probably say, oh, the most widest uh, packing tape we can find on the market probably um, is the three inches. So in the next video, I actually have uh, the other awesome tape to share with you how we can turn a matte finish car stock to super shining finish and then you won't even see that gap between the uh, the tape. So stay tuned for the next video and remember or summer promotion, summer promotion, summer sale is going to end this uh, Sunday. The free shipping for 2021 for you new release is going to finish this Sunday too. That 5% of a coupon code is going to expire Sunday too. And then, you know, the free shipping, maybe it doesn't look uh, like a lot of saving, but each ship, each stamp set, it cost three fifty for the one stamp. So you save more than 20% off. So when the promotion is finished, that shipping fee will be added back. Take the advantage of this summer sale and the free shipping fee. And remember, if you order the old background stamp, you will get the one magic mushroom free. That magic mushroom is actually come with the storage container too. So you can give a try to feel how wonderful those are magic mushroom. So this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stamp. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.